Um, okay, so what we're going to look at now is after we figure out finding basic slope problems, we're going to turn around and look at um, parallel and perpendicular lines. So the question is, how do how do the slopes the slopes of of parallel lines relate? How do the slopes of parallel lines relate? You guys, remember? They're the same. They're the same. Same slopes. Parallel lines have the same slope. Okay, or equal slopes. Okay. Cool. Um, how do how do the slopes of slopes that's there of perpendicular lines relate? How do those relate? Can I remember? They're, they're opposite, what? Opposite reciprocals. Okay, so how do they relate? Parallel lines, same slope. Perpendicular lines, opposite reciprocals. Slopes are opposite reciprocals. So let's um, do an example real fast of op what opposite reciprocals are. What's the um, what's the opposite reciprocal if the slope is one half of the line? What would the perpendicular slope be? Two over one, but opposite negative. Reciprocal is flip it, right? Exchange the numerator and denominator. Um, opposite is change the sign. So another example would be um, if the slope was three halves. What's the perpendicular slope? Reciprocate it. Two over three, opposite, which is negative. Okay? Cool. All right, let's look at the next problem and go on from there. We're going to apply that real quick in two problems. Um, still, we're kind of in the world of algebra still. Um, we haven't entered so much into the world of geometry yet. Okay, so here we go. Um, if you read the direction, it says, it says find the slope of the line. Okay, so that's almost find the slope of the line that is parallel to the line passing through each pair of points. So really, there's three parts. There's one, find the slope. Then we need to turn that into finding the slope of the line that's parallel to the line we're given. Okay, to the line that goes through the two points. We then also need to find the second part, then state the slope of the line that is perpendicular. So there's really kind of three parts to what we're dealing with today. Okay, so first we're going to find the regular slope. So what do you want to do on 7? Find the regular slope. Okay, and then try to convert it on your own um, ahead of when we get there. So go. Did you guys find the slope? Negative 10 minus negative 3. 6 minus 9. Negative 7 over negative 3. That's not it. 7 over 3. Did you guys get that? Got it one time. Okay. Okay, so the slope that we just found was 7 thirds. Okay, perpendicular slope or a parallel slope is the same exact thing as that. So that tells us that the parallel slope being the same is going to be what? Seven thirds. And the perpendicular slope is going to be not just three sevenths, but three, negative three, three sevenths. There's our answer. Do you guys get my notation? Yeah. Okay. I would recommend that you do it that way so you can keep yourself organized, especially when we get to changing these and running equations of lines from this. Sure. Okay. Number nine. We're going to skip eight. We're going to do nine. So let's just find the slope. So be negative four over four, which is negative one, right? So we find the slope to be negative 1. What's the parallel slope to it? It's going to be the same exact thing, right? Parallel slope is going to be negative 1. Perpendicular slope is going to be opposite reciprocals. What's that opposite reciprocal of negative 1? Negative 1 is negative 1 over 1. Reciprocal would be 1 over negative 1. 
Opposite would take away the negative, so it's 1 over 1. Okay? Opposite would be... So it's just 1 out of 1. Any question? Three. All right, let's go to three. On the back. Three on the back. It's a vertical line. It's a slope. You're at the line. Close. Undefined. Undefined. It's undefined if you forget that and there's points listed, or if you forget that, you can just pick two points. I'm not even going to use those. Forget those two points. Let's use this point, which would be 2, 2, and let's use this point, which will be 2, negative 4. I'm just making up new ones for fun, looking at the picture of putting new dots, because that's what you can do if you forget what the slope actually is, or if you're not confident that you know what it is. Then you can find the slope. Boom, boom, boom. Negative 4 over 2, 2 over 2, so it would be negative 6 over 0. That is undefined. Boom. Go. Boom goes the next problem. That's the saying, isn't it? Okay, let's do number four. What's the slope of a horizontal line? Zero. Zero is the slope. What's uh Okay, we could use the points that are given. If you didn't have points, you just put points in, label them, and then you can do it. Anyway, so negative three, negative three, two, negative two. Oh, 0 over 4, which is 0. Boom. Getting it done. Okay, let's look down. Let's go back to the rule of 2. 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 So, going down here. We're going to do 12 and 15. So, we're skipping 10 right here. We're skipping 13, 14. We're skipping 16, 17. So, and we're going to do 12 up, up top. Above line, just to organize it a little bit. The numeral 12. We want to find, it says, given the set of points, determine if line AB and line CD are parallel or particular near. Neither. We talked about how we can do that by looking at their slopes, right? We just, we've, we're talking about slopes today, so we can tell whether these are parallel or particular or neither, depending on how their slopes relate. So, what we're going to do, we're going to find the slopes and then we're going to see how they relate to each other, see which one it is. Cool. If they're the same, they're parallel. If they're opposite reciprocals, they're perpendicular. If they're neither, they're neither. Clever. Okay, do you guys get my notation on this? Slope of line AB. 5 minus 3, 5 minus 4 minus negative 2. 2 over 6. One third, so that's the slope of a b. Okay, remember the goal to find the slopes and then relate those slopes to each other. Slope cd, line cd, gonna be zero minus three, one minus zero, so it's gonna be negative three over one, which is negative three. How do those two slopes relate? Are they the same? No. <clears throat> Are they opposite reciprocals? Is one the reciprocal of the other plus change the sign? One positive, one negative? Yeah. So um, they were, so we would state at the very end and we would give our reason. They're perpendicular. Okay. They're perpendicular because, because negative three is opposite reciprocal, and I'm kind of abbreviating to one third. And guys, if I ask this question, don't you can graph it to give you an idea of what they're going to be, but the graph is not the supporting justification for your decision. Okay, the graph you don't know beyond the shadow of a doubt based on the graph that it is in fact parallel. Okay, unless you demonstrate the, the slopes. Okay, you have to demonstrate the slopes to get full credit for this. Slope of AB, we'll do 15. So let's find the slope of AB, and then we got to find the slope of CD, line CD, and compare those two suckers. Slope of 1.
drop them in there. Negative one over should be, you know, minus negative three. I didn't write the negative. Minus negative three. So it's negative one over negative one, which is positive one. So it's a slope of C D. How do they compare? How are they? What are they? They are parallel because one equals one. Cool. You do have some homework. You guys will be great, and you're going to do it.